Is that my boyfriend? Shot fire sheet. Shot fire sheet. Bro, what's up? Please, dude. Please, no, fire. Hey everybody, in today's video we're reacting to a channel called Midwest Safety. The video we're reacting to today is called Here's Why You Don't Grab a Cop's Rifle. Let's check it out. Just before noon on April 11th, 2024, officers from the Albuquerque Police Department from New Mexico coordinated to arrest two suspects at a Walmart. According to news reports, officers were seeking a 25-year-old individual by the name of Adriana Gonzalez. Police believed she was involved in several armed robberies Ooh. and were able to identify her just the day before, getting an arrest warrant approved by a judge. Officers observed she was traveling with a male subject in this vehicle. They had not yet identified him at that time, but would quickly find out he is 30-year-old Mark Benavidez and would so happen to have an unrelated warrant out for his arrest. Uh -oh. When they parked their vehicle in the Walmart parking lot, Mark went inside by himself, leaving Adriana outside to be apprehended by the police. Down. Lay down on the ground. Lay down. Stay there. Put your hands out to your side. Corey, just make sure he's not coming out. Hey, Stay put your head down. Your Face away. Put your hands out like an airplane. Put your hands behind your back. Adriana appears to fully comply with the police during her arrest, following each command the officers give. I'll send you up, okay? Okay. We're gonna go this way. Ready? One, two, three. Why did, how did you guys find me? You got a warrant for your arrest. This is what we do. Uh -huh. How did you guys... This is what we do. After her apprehension, armed officers waited outside of Walmart's doors for Mark to exit. If he, if he comes out, we'll detain him. I don't know. I don't know. What's his name? Mark Benavides. What did he say his name was? Mark Benavides. Are you guys gonna... Is Mark in trouble? I don't know. Why did you roll so deep? Is it because I'm a felon? No, it's just because you got warrants, bro. We're just taking somebody into custody. What does he have, a Nike hat on? Huh? Yeah. Is my boyfriend coming out? Hey, Chris, she's going to come this way if you want to walk her. Okay, right let's walk over here. Can I please get a cigarette, you guys, please? Uh, I don't have one, but we'll, we'll talk about it. Just cooperate with us and we'll get everything going, okay? Check right here. Check right here. Let's see. What guy goes shopping and leaves his girlfriend in the car? Never heard of that ever. Stop right there. Stop right there. Stop right there. This security footage presents a clearer angle of Mark Dang. running from the officers and then falling under one of them. These officers are armed with rifles slung across their chest. While on the ground, Mark and the officers wrestle over access to one of the rifles. Ooh, that's no good. <laughs> In this moment, Mark appears to have turned the safety off on the rifle, making this already dangerous situation worse. Hey. It is your boyfriend. Stop. He's going to jail also. Two peas in a pod. Help! Let go of the gun! Let go of it! Why did you not pull the freaking magazine out of it? You could have just pushed the button and pulled the magazine. He would have been able to shoot once, probably. But not over and over. This is dangerous. Shot fire sheet. Are you okay? Man, that is so dangerous. That could have been just hitting anybody in the park. Hey, sit down. Please, please, Sit down. Let me check me. Check me. Are you good? I'm good. Are you okay? <laughs> oh my God, what the it looked like the muzzle was pointed away from the officers, but just in randomly into the parking lot. <laughs> what the f is that, man? In these next moments, officers check each other for injuries. They also handcuff Mark. Yeah, come on, buddy. Come over here, okay? Hey, are you okay? You just got a lot more charges. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Look, look, is it, is it hurt? No, no, anything. 
Legs, you gotta be bleeding. That's Anything hot burning. Coffee, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, ah! someone threw up. Oh my god! You guys good? Hey, hold to your guts! <laughs> what check? You got some blood, but I think it's good. You're good. You're good. Pull his vest off. Pull his vest off. Oh, I guess he's not going to jail, if you know what I mean. Hold up, there we go. It's unhooked. There you go. Dude, can you bleed? Can you do that to my boyfriend? Please, please, please. I'm here with you. I don't know what's going on. Please, dude, please. It is your boyfriend. Oh, was. Okay. Was your boyfriend. I think I just got splattered into my, into my leg, but just from the ground. Please. Can we just, like, look right there no, like, for me? No, no. Just settle down, right? Yep, let me go grab it. Here. So a chest seal, they're asking for a chest seal, is just something to keep the fluids inside of your body instead of leaking all of it out onto the ground. It's still internal bleeding, which is not good, but at least it's in there and not being lost. News reports indicate that the rifle was fired by Mark eight times, with each bullet striking the ground. Officers attempted to subdue him by using a taser, but when that failed, two officers pulled out their handguns. Reports indicate multiple officers fired their weapons and they shot Mark five times in the chest and abdomen area. Please, 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 make sure it's not him. It's him. Please, please. Stay with him. Tony. Yeah. Everybody good? Yeah. Hey, I'm a donkey. You all right? Yeah. What is this? Tra 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 oh, yeah, I think when he was shooting into the ground. What was the guy doing? Yeah. News reports after these events shared that officers found this handgun on Mark's person. It was later Ooh. discovered that the couple had stolen it after visiting the owner's home the night before as invited guest. Can we please? <laughs> no, we got to stay right here. I'm a physician. I'm a Whoops. He said, if you want a time on it, it's 1146. Yes, sir. You can hang out over there. I'll get your information here in a minute. Oh, better than him. That guy was a physician. He's, he basically confirmed that he was no longer. They'll probably have their own guy come out, but bystander is now telling the police officers. Oh! I'll get your information here in a minute. Oh, murdered him! Oh! Oh! Got him! Which one? Got him! Got him! Which hey, get out of here! Shut up! feel bad for that girl but I mean this is the kind of life y'all are living what do you expect to happen like you're going to people's house stealing their weapons I mean are they, what, what are you stealing a weapon for with intent to use it are you just gonna scare people with it like this is the life this guy asked for you know I mean completely unrelated to him grabbing the officer's rifle which obviously then you're getting what you asked for please please Please, 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 it's safe. Please. What if that was like your wife or your girlfriend? Please, dude, just please. I just need to know. I just need to know, please. I mean, I do feel awful for her, to be honest. But please, Stand I... up. Oh, my God. Please, I need to know. What's up, man? Hey, look. She hasn't been thoroughly searched yet. I'm gonna go check on these guys. Okay. Can you guys make sure Tell nothing me. over here gets disturbed? Okay. Thanks. Good job, dude. You have cup keys? He said, let's not mission talk. Never heard that. Yes. 
probably take the cuffs off. We put two seals on the front, one on the back, but he's got additional holes. After her arrest, news reports indicate she faces three counts of armed robbery with a deadly weapon and three counts of conspiracy. These three incidents happened 20 days before the events in this video. So they're already robbing people. Now they go to someone's house, steal their weapon with intent to rob more people. However, it was discovered that she was already under the supervision of pretrial services in connection to felony drug charges from November. She did not appear for her arraignment back in January. Through her own confessions, she admitted that Mark was an accomplice and acted as the getaway driver. In total, the pair apparently made off with less than $500. Although wow. medical attention was given to him on scene, he did not survive his injuries. She is currently in jail pending trial. Ooh. All right, guys. Well, I've never reacted to any videos that had this kind of ending to them. Um, but I'm not going to say he asked for it, but it's not like it was unwarranted either. It's pretty sad. Uh, I don't know why people choose to live a life like that, going around stealing from people that work for stuff. But this is what happens. If it wasn't these guys doing it, it would have just been the next person that you tried to rob, possibly. So hopefully she'll learn a little bit from her lessons and change her life when she gets the chance to get out of jail. All right, guys, if you enjoyed the video, maybe check out this video. Come back tomorrow so we'll watch something else. See you then.